welcome to Homestead Corner. I'm Jenny and today I thought we would talk about thinking outside the box when it comes to meats. So every time any of us go to the grocery store we can see the cost of meats is getting quite ridiculous. Sometimes there's a decent selection in the stores and sometimes there's not that much. I've gone in and seen zero chicken or only one kind of chicken or zero steaks. We've seen pretty much all of that over the last year and I think it's important when we're looking at our stockpiles to make sure we're diversifying as much as possible. And sometimes we don't think to look around other places we might just go to one spot, we don't find what we want, and we go to a different store, sometimes it's not there either. So I think it's important to really think, try to think outside the box, different ways that we can get meat, look in different areas in the store, because as things progress, and like the chicken is going to start getting really, really expensive with all of this chicken flu going around, and the bird flu, it is just, you know, eggs, meat, all of it. Beef is getting so expensive at the grocery store. Even pork, the price is rising. We're seeing higher and higher prices on everything. So thinking outside the box on things we can get into our pantry is going to be really important. And so I thought I'd just go over a few different items that we keep in our pantry for meats. And some of them are not just straight up meat. A lot of them are mixed into meals and things like that. But we really like the chicken a la king is one way to go. And this is great over rice, over noodles, over toast, biscuits, whatever you have. You can pour this right over. And chili is another one. I buy the one without beans and then add beans to it later because you get more meat in the can for basically the same price usually and you can just add your beans and beans are pretty inexpensive I can most of my beans I buy a few cans at the store but most of the time we have our own home canned beans and those are literally pennies per jar when you do it yourself so you can and again the chili is something you can add this over noodles or rice or something to really beef it up you can add vegetables in it you could do all kinds of stuff with it and I really think it is a great way to go those two items are really simple and easy and we keep quite a decent amount of those and another thing we keep in the house is different kinds of fishes like mackerel is usually pretty inexpensive herring or sardines things like that they're open and eat quick and easy they're great for your small cans of sardines and um, herring and things like that are great for your emergency bags so you can take them and go they're small lightweight pretty much they're pretty small portion. You can also make soup with these or a stir fry or something if you wanted to go that way. And of course, tuna. If you like tuna, we really like tuna, so we keep a good supply of it. Tuna is one of those fishes that you can make a ton of different stuff in. We also keep salmon. Salmon's another one of the fishes because I love like salmon loaf and salmon cakes and all kinds of stuff like that. And you can really mix it up. Soups, stews, casseroles. You can go in a bunch of different directions. And then we also uh, try to grab, I keep a little bit of the Chef Boyardee on hand. We don't keep a whole lot of it because not everybody in the house will eat it and it's not wonderful for you, but it is quick and easy in an emergency. You can literally open the can and eat it. You don't even have to heat it up. So it's a quick, easy thing for having on the shelf. For Especially if you have kids, a lot of times they will like it. My kids don't like it, but <laughs> they're a little different. That's okay. And corned beef hash is another one we keep on hand. Um, I really like corned beef hash. You can add eggs to it. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. It's We really love it. I like to get it nice and crispy, kind of like spam. You know, get it nice and crispy so it tastes good. 
Another thing that we add are like deviled ham, they're little spreads. It's like a mashed up ham and it's got a pretty strong flavor to it. But you can add mayonnaise to this and put it on a sandwich. You can add cream cheese to it and put it on crackers. You could eat it right out of the can if you wanted to. Um, you can do a lot of different stuff, ham salad, things like that. You can do all sorts of stuff. Just another type of meat to have in the pantry, and it really helps out. Another one is like those little Vienna sausages. This is Vienna Bites. You can get these at the Dollar Tree usually. Um, and these are great fried up. You can like fry them up in a pan like they taste like bologna really um fry them in a pan put home fries with it peppers onions whatever you could do all sorts of stuff with this you could make soup you could do whatever you wanted there but this is a nice another really inexpensive meat that you can get into your pantry for proteins and another, let's see, I've also got um, some ham here. I don't really buy chicken in the can too much because I can chicken all the time. I love home canned chicken is my favorite. And we do beef and all different sorts of stuff. But uh, these little cans of ham, I think they're still around a dollar at Walmart, the Butterfield. And these are great to add into different meals, stir fries, stuff like that, um, casseroles, soups. It's just a small can. You could do two cans for a bigger family, definitely. One would be more for one or two people. But, uh, but it's nice to have that option. Not always. You may be the only one home at one point that's eating, or you know, you may have a ton of people. Small cans are good to have on hand as well, even if you have a big family. We keep some small cans. Not very often do you get alone time in this house. <laughs> uh, let's see, and then soups. Soups are another way, great way to go. Soups are great because you can, even on the thinner soups, you can thicken them with flour or cornstarch or whatever you have. Thicken them up and put them over gravy. Uh, <laughs> You can thicken them up and make a gravy and put them over rice or noodles or biscuits or whatever you have. And they have, they still have quite a good variety at our local stores. Um, this is just a ham and bean soup, just simple and easy. Steak and potatoes, this one is great. You can, it's pretty thick, the sauce in it, so you can pour it right over rice. And then there's like a smoked turkey. You can get chicken. There's tons of different soups. And I also have like a Progresso here. These are great. You could just heat these up and eat them or you can turn them into other things. If you thicken this and put a crust on it, it actually makes a nice pot pie. It's not bad. Um, tons of different things. Just try to think out, outside the box when you see something. If you're buying something new, definitely I recommend buy one and try it, one or two, and try it before you stock up on it because you may get it home and you really don't like it and then more than likely it's going to keep getting pushed back until it goes bad or the can explodes or something and then it won't get eaten and your money is wasted. So we try to make sure that we buy one and try it. If we like it, we'll get more. If we don't, then our money is not lost. Um, another thing we like to do is we buy um, like summer sausages. They are usually over with the beef jerky and things like that. But those are also great shelf stable meats. You can have these on the shelf. You can still do all sorts of stuff with it. Beef jerky is awesome because you can just open it, eat it. This as well, you can just cut pieces off and eat it. Um, it's all shelf stable. And just having different varieties really helps. And I forgot to bring the jar up, but we buy the dried beef in the can as well. So you can make, you know, like shit on a shingle or something like that. It's really chipped beef, really easy to make. It doesn't take a lot of ingredients and it's a pretty good meal. 
And also in the salad section, they have real bacon bits that you can get. It is real bacon. And these have a decent shelf life on them over a year, uh, just over a year usually for the bacon bits, even in the package that they're in. And it will give you some protein and you can add it into like fried cabbage or whatever you're making for a meal and just beef that up with some extra flavor and you know a little bit more protein so you can get what you need in your diet and those are just a few things that we keep on hand and there are lots of other things that you can buy um, they have the little like packets of tuna the little flat tin foil packets they don't have a real long shelf life but they're great for um, in the car on the go things like that you can put them in your go bags um, in your emergency bags. They're really thin and lightweight and they have a wide variety of chicken and tuna and all sorts of stuff and like little cracker packs you could do that. They come with like tuna salad or chicken salad and they're just look around the store and try to find some different items. So when you go into the store and either there's no meat to buy in the fresh meat section or it's so expensive that you can't actually afford it, there are other options to have on the shelf. And I think the more you can get on the shelf, the bigger variety, the better. And thinking outside the box will help you expand all of that. If you have a favorite that is outside the box, not a lot of people talk about it, please put it in the comments down below. It really helps other people in the community. And I love that. That is my favorite part about this community is everyone is so helpful. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.